Today we're going to talk about what I think is the most definitive build for Red Death. Red Death is really good in the Crucible right now. We don't even have the Catalyst yet, and it is absolutely cooking. It's a high impact pulse rifle, can have the potential of two burst. It's really good. Uh, everything about it is just fantastic. Inverse relationship is giving you tons of stat buffs, increased handling, reduced flinch, increased movement speed. That's just for dealing damage. Then you're getting healing when you get kills. You're granting cure to allies nearby. It's crazy. It's like heal clip on steroids. It's got high caliber rounds for you know extra flinch against your opponents. So that's amazing. What I wanted to focus on today was a build. It's almost identical to a build I made a couple months ago, but I'm calling it Knucklehead Perfected. I'm using this with Knucklehead Radar because I think it's one of the most effective PVP exotics for hunters. It's neutral game, it's up all the time. It's gonna provide radar while you're aiming, as you can see there, enhances your radar while crouched, but the big one is that it visually marks targets. So you're gonna have those targets marked with the little red X looking thing. And with the potency of dueling that Red Death has, combined with the benefits of Knucklehead Radar, it's just crazy. So I'm going with maxed out resilience. So we have increased flinch resistance as well. Uh, that recovery stat is killing me as well. I don't really have the armor to improve that, but then we're also combining it with Night Stalker. And the reason we're doing that, and this is, it's a really simple build. It's just like three pieces. You got the exotic weapon, you got the exotic armor, and then this one fragment here, Echo of Vigilance. I like the idea of kind of stacking together the healing buffs. So you got Echo of Vigilance, that when you get a kill and you've got low health, it's gonna grant you a temporary void overshield. Red Death is also healing you, so it's gonna kinda combine with the overshield and the healing to bring you kinda back up to full strength. Cure times two is really good in the Crucible, but it's not gonna bring you back up to full health. Echo of Vigilance just kinda pushes it a little further. I have been really cooking with this combination. It is really something that's been enjoyable. So so we're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes when I'm actually recording, and uh, hopefully we can pop off here. I know some of you might be thinking like, what's the point of making this video? Because the meta's good, and then you can make the, the meta disgusting. Fun. Okay. All right. And you know, something else I failed to mention a moment ago. So you can see there, single kill restores a whole bunch of health, and we got overshield that, oh, that is, I am not number two. You can see, I mean, I had an idea of, as to where that guy was the entire time. So that's the other thing, is that as you're lower on health, you gain increased damage, which I imagine there are plenty of cases well, that's going to be getting you a kill where you normally wouldn't. Dang it. That increase in damage, I think, is going to get you kills in times where you normally wouldn't. Uh, so it kind of increases your forgiveness a little bit. Uh, Crimson does have better health regen, so I'll give it that. But I think the ease of use and just the comfort level uh, of Red Death is ridiculous compared to Crimson. Yeah, so right there, I mean, I didn't have to guess when that guy was coming out. I was able to kind of pre-fire, even though I was kind of in damage fall-off range there. I just just pre-fired on him and he was cooked. Uh, you know, that's another great thing. Uh, knucklehead radar is there when you can't see your opponent. Come on, Pete. Gosh dang it, there's always multiple people. I can't tell you how fast I'm gonna put that old ornament on as soon as I get it. I think the lore tab is hilarious because it's it's outlining this guardian who found Red Death and is like reforging it and purifying it with her solar light and it's like resisting her and she finally like reforges it and that's why it's called Red Death Reforged and uh, I think most of us are probably like this looks very cool but most of us are probably just gonna slap that old bloody ornament on right away. Feels a little weird though to be making people pay for the old look of the weapon. I I think it should have been the other way around. I don't know. Peeking with no health is my calling card.
high cal, that's good for getting snipers off their aim. Holy moly. Red Death definitely clutched up a bit. <laughs> All this waiting around, I'm gonna find out that guy's AFK. No! <laughs> He was, in fact, not AFK. Dang, again! This guy's just ruining all my fun! <laughs> I had Rampage times three in Desperate Measures. I was ready to cook him. I think that's like 90 damage per crit. Not this time. He tried it again. Okay, all right. Much better team game. I think we got more than 30 defeats. 34, okay. We've been pretty lucky so far. Each of these maps have been really good for Red Death. I will say it is easily the most comfortable pulse rifle I've used in closer yeah. range. Oh. It's not the same guy, is it? See, Knucklehead. I mean, it's, he was coming out at a weird angle, sliding out from cover higher than I thought he should have been, but I was just tracking him the whole time. He had no shot. Oh my word. Hello. I mean, even if you're landing some body shots, it's a pretty comfortable three burst, almost no matter what you do. All time, I think I've had like three more mercies inflicted on me than I have inflicted to others. So this is this is a, a big win. I need this. 20, but I'll take a 5.0. Alrighty, well, that's going to do it for now. I just kind of wanted to jump in with a quick little informal review and some live gameplay. I hope you enjoyed this format. I hope you enjoy Red Death. Get out there and try this combination. Knucklehead Perfected, as I'm calling it. It's like Crimson Radar from a couple months ago, if you watch that one. But even better, I just... I love Red Death. I think it feels so much cleaner than Crimson ever did. Crimson's still great gun, hands down, but Red Death is just special right now. I, I assume it's going to get nerfed. I mean, it's topping just about every usage chart, but all the benefits it gives you it is such a reliable, consistent, easy, potent weapon in the Crucible right now. And paired with Knucklehead Radar for really strong neutral gameplay, that tracking is just ridiculous. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.